This video is part 5 of a set of videos going through my musical past. In early 1981 I had just finished my university degree and was working for a small company that processed mining company data and produced plots and reports for them. I was going out quite often to see live music. One night I went to a wine bar named French's there was a band playing I had never heard of. I loved the songs, sound and particularly the girl lead singer. When the band had a break, I found myself standing next to the guitar player at the bar. I told him the songs and the singer were great, and he said I should tell that to her. As the night progressed, I found myself meeting the members of the band and their friends who came to see them. When the gig was over, I went back to the place where the guitar player and the singer lived and ended up spending the night talking to them. That was the start of my involvement with the Particles. At that time, the band was a four-piece. Astrid Spielman on lead vocals, Peter Williams, also sometimes called Peter Particle, on guitar and backing vocals, Mick Smith on bass, and Ian Bowie, also known as Spiro, on drums. Over the next month or so, I spent a fair bit of time with them and managed to talk them into letting me join the band. After only one or two rehearsals with them, Spiro decided to leave the band. Coming from a background of playing bass, my guitar skills weren't all that great, and Mick was a great bass player who worked really well with Peter's guitar, so I became the keyboard player. I bought a Roland electric piano and a small cork synthesizer, and we started looking for a drummer. I left my job to concentrate on the band. If I recall correctly, we only auditioned one drummer, and he seemed to be a good fit, so Mel joined the band on drums. We started rehearsing in a rehearsal studio on Surrey Hills and at a house in Empire Bay on the New South Wales Central Coast, as Trich's parents owned. We started doing a few gigs, and an opportunity came up to record the band's second EP in the studio of University of Sydney radio station 2SUX FM. We had the studio to ourselves for a couple of weeks, recorded the EP Advanced Colouring, logical follow-up to the first EP called Colour In. The three songs on it are on my channel. I had some recording experience, so I ended up producing the EP. One of Australian music magazines, Duke, gave the EP top ranking in their independent release of the year list, and it was the first time I had anything I was involved with on the radio. We did a small number of gigs with that lineup, but as always there was a lot of tension in the band, and one day Mick and Mel decided to leave. That led just Astrid, Peter and me. We decided to go on, and that finding people to replace them was too hard, so the decision was made to keep the band going as a trio with a drum machine. I moved to bass, and we borrowed a simple Korg drum machine from a friend of the band. Mick was kind enough to record all the song bass lines on a cassette for me, and I learned them from that. That was the lineup for the rest of my time with the band. After some rehearsal time, we started doing regular gigs, mostly supporting other bands, including some that were quite big in Australia, like Mental As Anything and The Go-Betweens. There was an Australian quirky band named The Reels, who had a soft spot for the particles, and we ended up doing a lot of gigs supporting them. Although we were a Sydney band, we were more popular in Melbourne than Sydney, and did a lot of gigs there. There were times we drove down to Melbourne for just one gig. Like most small-time Australian bands, the gigs paid peanuts, and we were basically paying to play. The tension in the band kept growing, and I finally decided I wanted out, and since we had a really hard time finding somebody who could do the front-of-house mixing and was willing to do it for basically no pay, I recorded the drums. By that time, my now legendary Roland TR-808 and the bass on a cassette, and I would do the front of the house with just Peter and Astrid on stage with recorded bass and drums. We did quite a few gigs that way. One night doing a gig in Canberra at the Civic Hotel, we had quite a big PA, and although we only had two people on stage and Peter's guitar wasn't even plugged into an amplifier going straight into the mixer, the pub manager came up to me and asked me to turn it down. I took that as a compliment. My last gig with the Particles was in January 1982 
at a venue in central Sydney, sold out with a crowd of around 1,000 people supporting men at work.